we have a previously healthy 32 year old woman who comes to the emergency department with fatigue and bilateral leg swelling. Her pulse is 92, respiration is 24, physical examination shows a jugular venous distension and a fitting edema of the lower extremities. Her abdomen is distended with shifting dullness and tender hepatomegaly is present. Cardiovascular examination shows a hollow systolic murmur her at best at the left lower sternal border. That increases in intensity with respir inspiration. Which of the following is the most likely predisposing factor for this patient's condition? We have five options and I see people are answering already. That's excellent. We have a 45 exogenotype, which I'm sure all of you know is Turner syndrome. We have an IV drug use here, vitamin B1 deficiency, fibrillin gene defect, or is it streptococcus pharyngitis? Are we talking about endocarditis? Is what we're talking about. We have an acquired tricuspid valve regurgitation happening here, which and signs of right heart failure. You have lower extremity, tender hepatomegaly, and all of this is right heart failure, correct? So in a previously healthy patient, now that is a trick here. He's perfectly fine, and suddenly he, he develops heart failure. How come? Right? You should think about it. Be careful about the younger guys than the older. Okay? Older people are prone to everything. Younger people are not. Okay? So if younger people are having any sort of a very old guy's condition, that means it's some sort of an acute thing that has happened. Okay? So this is a trick to understand that. Now, he's a previously healthy patient. Suggested diagnosis of tricuspid valve endocarditis. For which IV drug use. It's coming from right. Which is coming from the veins. What are you injecting in your veins as a younger uh, younger generation? It is drugs. Right, and Americans are very fond of questions based on drugs because that is a common problem they face in their country. So obviously they're going to focus on that. Okay, and uh, here IV drug use is definitely the most likely predisposing factor. Now, if we say it's a developing country, then we can think of infection. Okay, now the most commonly isolated pathogens in infective endocarditis because of IV drug use. Again, there is because of many things here. Just individually infective endocarditis. Causative, causative, causative organisms are different because of IV drug use. It's different because IV drug use you're going to pierce through your skin, and skin has abundance of staph. Believe it or not, uh, the notorious staph is on your skin, and it is definitely the most common. And previously, normal valves will get destroyed because of staph virus. Okay, you don't even need to have an RHV or any sort of disease, you can just have a perfectly beautiful looking valve going for going into destruction because of staph virus. Okay, and it's on the skin. All right, then you can talk about the other organisms like strep, anthrococcine, pseudomonas, and all of that. Now, what are the other causes of tricuspid valve regurgitation? In a younger patient, especially females, is your rheumatic heart disease, right heart uh, failure, and connective tissue disease like MARFA. Now, do not think too much about connective tissue diseases because they're not commonly seen. Okay, and if there is MARFA in a patient, definitely they'll give you other symptoms related to MARFA. They will not just tell you about if you see the question is so vague, it's only talking about right heart failure. It's only talking about, you know, you have tachypnea, you have tachycardia, okay, not technically tachycardia, and right heart failure. There's nothing to do with, uh, you know, other symptoms. So, Marfan is ruled out, correct? Right. Rheumatic heart disease is most commonly seen in females. And most of you tend to neglect the age and the gender. Step one, people are actually focusing on that. There is so many things that is not at all caused in that gender, not at all caused in that um, age group. Okay? We have a question coming up. RHT would be in around 5 to 15 years. Yes, Bhakti. Correct. Exactly. That also could be one of the points. It won't be like acute, acute. Right? Now, Turner syndrome. What, is, what happens in Turner syndrome? It is also the most common cardiovascular abnormalities is bicuspid aortic valve, coagulation, and defection. Oh, it's a question. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, definitely, we cannot stick to 5 to 15 years. There's a possibility in a year also they might come with, and most commonly they'll have mitral regurgitation as well. Okay. Now, moving on to Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome. Remember these two things: bicuspid aortic valve, okay, and coagulation of aorta. All right. Aortic dissection follows. It's not commonly seen, but these two are commonly seen. Chronic and severe aortic valve disease could lead to left heart failure which typically manifests with dyspnea or dopnea, PND, and bilateral basal heart crackles. So your left heart is failing, blood is getting cooled up in the lungs, they're going to have dyspnea. Pulmonary edema is a bad condition, bad, very bad, okay? The fluid is getting collected in your alveoli. 
so they want to have this and definitely or the pula or the pula is so much related to cvs okay pnd all the different uh, abnormalities of breathing will be there and definitely by bilateral basal tackles is a giveaway okay how about this patient presence with right heart failure so turners is ruled out and left heart murmurs do not increase on inspiration why because blood gets pulled up in the right heart not in the left heart fine now more over the typical manifestation of turner syndrome will definitely be given like short stature webbed neck why this person was an amenorrhea would also be expected and all of that now remember none of these have to be present in all the turner syndrome patients now that is how uh, there are some turner syndrome which don't look at turner syndrome at all when you look at them trust me you have to get a karyotyping done to tell it because again the genotype the, the genetics says a uh, penetrance if i'm not wrong is the right word because i'm not so strong with genetics i think penetrance is the word some penet some people might have a less of penetrance so they will not have so many symptoms of you know turner syndrome b1 deficiency usually it's secondary to alcohol use disorder in developed countries results in wet very very okay it's a it's, it's it's a high output cardiac failure now although examination would reveal jvd a site test and edema this patient lacks other features of high output cardiac failure like dyspnea tachypnea or apnea pnd and bounding peripheral pulses and an s3 gallop now these are the things which you have to register in your mind there is no other go okay now in addition we will have a hollow systolic murmur at the left lower sternal border would not be expected in such patients okay i hope that's clear uh, b1 deficiency wet beriberi is commonly asked questions because it's an interesting combination of biochemistry they love for the biochemistry okay right fibrillation again talking on marfan here commonly what happens in marfan with the iota is you have good dilatation causing you do correct and we have an mvp chronic and severe left valvular heart disease could lead to left heart failure then manifest slow over the period of time this now doctor p and d by bell by letter they are classes however this patient presents with right heart failure acute left heart murmurs except for mvp do not increase on inspiration unlike the murmur in this patient moreover other typical features of marfan like joint hypermobility lens subluxation would be expected now what about streptococcal pharyngitis one of you had asked this it can lead to rheumatic heart disease which will manifest as heart failure in a younger or middle aged patients however rh mainly affects the valves of the left heart not the right one i'm not saying completely not the right but most commonly the left features of left heart failure which is read read it dyspnea or apnea pnd by left heart that would be expected again inspiration normal is not there with right heart a patient presents with features of right heart and a murmur that increases the inspiration so you are fine so the only way to rule out e was rh rh is seen in the left but i'm not right heart here so that is how you rule out the e question marfan that's d you we'll rule it out because we don't have other marfan symptoms b1 deficiency you were very very nothing mentioned about an alcohol so definitely alcohol history will always be mentioned trust me guys okay and turner syndrome no so this is how you rule out so even if you don't know anything you'll still be able to mark iv drug use so remember that thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more